in ivf procedures we do egg extraction taking the sperm selecting the sperm sperm and eggs are fertilized in the lab and then form the embryos and then transfer to the woman's uterus so this is all about ivf process in short but what happens after this after embryo transfer we generally do the blood test of serum beta hcg after 2 weeks of the embryo transfer if it is negative then the question comes why it is failing if everything was okay so let's talk about the embryo transfer failure causes so why does this implantation failure happen so about egg quality if the egg quality is not up to the mark so there are more uh, immature oocytes then the formation of the embryo will not be proper next would be sperm quality we need to check about the sperm count motility and morphology and furthermore testing that would be advanced testing dna fragmentation index so dna fragmentation index of the sperm should be less than 25% about the embryo quality not selecting the proper embryo or the embryo stage arrest the proper growth is not seen so that is one of the cause and synchrony of uterus and embryo if it is not happening then implantation failure is bound to happen furthermore come going forward we can talk about immunological causes so certain immunological causes where implantation gets hampered so we need to investigate these causes and then plan next process thank you